Hi, my name is Denise Deneen, and this is Holistic Happenings Home Version. Because I'm quarantined, like most of you are, because of COVID-19, I'm doing my show from home. Uh, I thought it would be interesting to explore the mental and emotional health of our tweens, our teens, and middle schoolers um, during this time, the quarantine. Um, I have three interviews. The first one is a middle school coordinator and teacher, and she has a unique perspective because she works with the students, she works with the teachers, and she works with the parents, so she has a lot of helpful tips for us. Um, my second interview is my 12-year-old son, and is pretty candid. Uh, he did not know what the questions were going to be, and I had no idea what his answers were going to be. Um, and this gives us, um, and it gave me a, a good insight on the different platforms that um, the kids are using at this time, and some of the um, uh, social aspects of the quarantine, um, the anxiety and um, the struggles that uh, he and I are both dealing with um, with the online schooling and, and being quarantined together. Um, and my third interview is with a social worker and she has some great information for us as well. So I, I hope this finds you well. Um, and more importantly, um, I hope this information gives you some insight and it's a little bit informative and maybe brings you some peace knowing that, um, you know, we are all in this together um, and it will shed some light on maybe talking to your own teens and tweens about some of the topics um, that my son and I have talked about. So I hope this finds you healthy. We are all in this together and we're gonna get through it. So remember, get inspired, get healthy, and have some fun along the way. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others until we meet again. Thank you. Hi, my name is Denise Deneen, and this is Holistic Happenings, and I'm interviewing my son, Matthew Deneen, and Matthew is 12 and a half, and he's going to be 13 in June, um, and he attends um, middle school at McDuffie's in Granby, Massachusetts, and I thought that I would talk to Matthew about um, how he's feeling about the, about the quarantine and um, doing online schooling and any kind of stress that he may have besides doing this interview right now. So Matt, how are you feeling about being quarantined? Uh, it's really stressful. The schools are giving out a lot of work. Um, it's just a lot. I don't know, I don't know yeah. what to say. So do you like having um, the school work, uh, some structure? Do you find some kind of comfort in it? I mean, I know that you want to play video games all day, but... Yeah, the teachers host um, online classes, and you can email them to schedule, like, a one-on-one -on -one if you need help with something. Or, like, it's not really as much of a, uh, like, grading, like, out of 100. It's more of, like, if you turn it in, that's just, like, you get it done. So... And then you're doing it through yeah. Zoom and you get to see everybody and you get to see your teachers and your classmates or mm -hmm. I know there's that option where you can like mute it. Yep, you can mute it and you can turn off your video. So if you're having a bad hair day, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can wear a hat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what are your feelings about um, this quarantine and the COVID-19? Um, is it... Uh, is it scary for you, or this is all new, and you tell me your feelings yeah. around that? It's it's really, it's weird not being able to do anything. It's it's really different, and the store is running low on stuff. It's, kind of, it's stressful not being able to go to school. It's a lot different doing online classes, so it's a lot easier just going to school for me because I can stay on top of my work more. And it's easier to know what you have can you because you can talk to the teachers in person, so it's a lot easier. And um yeah. I'm not I'm I'm afraid of it, but I'm I'm not afraid of it, but I'm cautious. I'm not scared of it, but I'm I know that it's a worry. It is a worry. 
So you, you know that you just you can't go over to yeah. you know, the neighbors across the street and um, and just get real close and, and play with them. Yeah. You, you guys go out and you ride your, your bikes, um, but you're not riding them together, yeah. right? Um, so you're pretty aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, you had expressed to me about um, some concerns that you had about what you saw on Snapchat um, as far as some of the kids and how they're reacting to the COVID. Yeah, there's a lot of people asking on their Snapchat stories, like if people want to hang out and stuff or like, like screw the quarantine, I want to hang out with people and stuff like that. And it's really... Do you it's, think that they're really doing that or they're just trying yeah, to... Yeah, they like, they like post on their stories like, oh, I'm with my friend. Really? Like everybody cares, but nobody cares. And it's the parents' fault for letting them hang out. How do you feel about that? Mm. It's annoying. It's just, it's not that hard to stay in your house. Yeah. Well, you can go. I mean, we, we've done it quite a bit outside. Yeah, we're not hanging out with people. No, right. So we're keeping our social, our social distancing. Right. Yeah. What is the biggest worry for you around all of this? Do you think this is going to be something that's going to change things for us in the future on how school is or how we conduct um, ourselves in public spaces? I feel like it's going to change. I feel like we're going to take more precautions for like the the common flu and just make sure that we stay home, stay home if we're ill more than we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's important, isn't it? But I know that, you know, they, they are very, um, they're right on top of, you know, anyone mm -hmm. that's there at the school and they're keeping it. Yeah. Yeah. They're protecting everyone. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you're missing besides you know, the friends that and being with the friends at school? I miss school in general. It's it's a lot easier to communicate with teachers and like letting them know that you have your work done because if you forget to turn something in or if you have something done and you don't turn it in it's like a lot of stuff and they're posting all this stuff um like work at the same time as other teachers and it's hard for them to know like what other classes you have and what you have to do for work so it's a lot more organized when you're at school do you feel that that's a it's it's a huge learning curve for them too they've never mm -hmm. been through this and they're trying to take care of their families during um, all of um, this quarantine. So it must be stressful on their end as well. Yeah. Yeah. Are you finding um, other ways to to cope with this? And what do you do to 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 use your time up? I go outside a lot. I ride my bike. I build. I build jumps outside for my bike, and I play a lot of video games. Yeah. You have always been <clears throat> outdoors a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So we ride the bike, we dirt bike. Um, you did go fishing. Um, mm -hmm. We're doing a lot of stuff inside, too, and you're helping me with, you know, cleaning the basement and all that fun stuff, right? I, I think that you have been... Um, you know, pretty um, reserved with the game playing. Um, it's not like you are, you know, all day um, playing mm -hmm. video games. There's a lot of work to do too. There's it's, so it's keeping you busy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss um, seeing other family members or having them come over? Or, I mean, Patrick and Danny come over, but they're not. It's, you know, they're keeping their distance and, you know, Patrick will bring over uh, groceries for us and what he leaves it in the, on the patio and, yeah, yeah. you want to just jump in the car and just go. What would be, what's going to be the first thing that you do when um, things get back to normal? 
what do you want to do? Go to the deer pig truck or hang out with my friends. Hang out with your friends. What are you gonna what is hang out with your friends mean? What are you gonna do? Just, like, just probably you wanna go somewhere with them or I wouldn't want to go to like bounce or something like a trampoline park, but like so that would be a worry for you. That would be concern. Kind of. I just wouldn't feel like this weight of months to go to like <laughs> to go because you never know. Those kids are like wiping their noses and stuff. And yeah, I mean, kind of gross it's, anyways. It's, it's it's true. Hmm. So that's interesting. Are you? Do you think? Are you? Like we're going to the movies or um, just going to the mall. Is this going to be something that's, you know, in the back of your mind that you're thinking about? Yeah. Not, not so much of a worry, but like not everybody is going to get cured right away. If they, or it's not going to be safe right away. I feel like. Yeah. It's, no, I feel like it's never going to really be gone. You're still going to have to take, or like be careful. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not going to be as bad. Yeah. At all. Right. So, what do you do when you want to talk to your friends? Do you just talk to them during a video game, or I I've seen you do um, FaceTiming. Yeah. Right? So there's this thing called Discord that I use. You can uh, join different servers with like hundreds of thousands of people, and just what is that? I didn't know yeah, there's this thing that. called Discord. Discord? And, yeah. Is it an app? Oh, uh, yeah, for your computer. Okay. And you can add your friends and go into, like, calls and make group calls. You can join a server that has a bunch of people in it, and they host tournaments for money and stuff. And What kind of tournaments is that? What is that for? Uh, Fortnite tournaments. So. Um, but, so this is just for video games? Yeah. Okay, so how do you um, determine who is in this group and who's not? I mean, that's kind of um, worrisome to have these, you know, you're saying that anybody can come in and... and you have just, to have an invite. You have to have an invite. Yeah. Okay, so it's usually just the people that you know. Yeah. Right. Well, you don't know everybody because there's a bunch of people, but a lot of right. professional players join it. It's not dangerous at all. You, you just find, you can find people to play, so you can, like, there's this looking for players group, so you can just say, uh, Fortnite 2v2 Zone War or Box Fight or these different types of battles that you can do. Um, and so, and then they message you their username, you add them on the game, and then you play them. Okay. And then, yeah. So is there other social media platforms that are that involve any of video games that you can connect with your friends with? I know there's TikTok, right? That you can do your, your dances and stuff. Uh, there's people that do dances, there's comedy, there's like acting, there's all sorts of stuff on TikTok. But Discord is mainly for communicating. You can't post anything. It's not really a social media. It's just for talking to your friends. A lot of people post stuff on Instagram. Um, so as a parent, um, a parent's main concern is to keep you safe and not have you um, exposed to you know things that you're not maybe ready for um, at your age. I mean, you're 12. Right? I mean, you're gonna be 13 in June, but um, you yeah, don't want to. You know, it's not as like bad as like you think it is. It kind of, it's like it's none of that. It's just like you find someone to play and you play. It's not really anything personal. They don't know anything and about. It's nice to each other and all. And yeah. So you have to so be... So it's like, if, if someone's mean to you, just leave. It doesn't really matter. Okay. There's no reason for you to get upset because there's just those people. Okay. And they're if, if they're making fun of you, they honest, they probably have something going on Well, I mean, you know, we all have something going on, don't we? Right? Well, yeah. I mean, everyone deals with, you know, kids are going to deal with it differently with their anxiety and um, what they're going through and their family situation and... Mm -hmm. um, 
not everyone has um, what you have, and so we have to be a little bit kinder um, you know, to each other, right? I'm mean, pretty fortunate um, what you have. Can you tell me a little bit more about um, your worry as far as um, like food and is there, is there something that you would like parents to know to uh, the, the kids and speaking on behalf of you know other kids that are your age is there something that you would like to tell the parents um, don't let your kids you know hang out with friends it's kind of stupid oh okay and right if they're gonna don't be doing take some, well sometimes you know you're gonna be you're gonna put on something on snapchat right and so i think you you, you have to remember that this stuff does not go away this is yeah. you know, it's always going to be out there it's not anything that you can change once you do it right and if there's something that you're going to say um on social media that's not going to be nice what is it the we usually say you need to say if you're going to say it to their face Right. If you're not going to say it to their face, it is something that you say. You should be able to say it to their face, and not just because you feel like you have, um, you know, you just you're able to say and do what you want because you're kind of a, anonymous, right? Yeah. Right. There's these things that people post on Snapchat. They're called YOLOs, and so someone posts on their story this little box that says whatever they want it to say that says like ask me questions or something or tbh which means to be honest and then they say their name mm -hmm. so like their honest thoughts about you mm -hmm. so like people who post those and then some people post like mean stuff on there but they don't they can't really do anything about it because it's anonymous like actually anonymous so and what is that called yolo and is that what is that what an app yeah yeah and do you have that yeah yeah but i posted on my, my private story for people that i know okay so that can be concerning right yolo yeah so can you can you put um uh, restrictions or uh, parent um, controls on that um no. So how do parents keep track of all this stuff for their kids? Um, well, don't check their phones, first of all. Don't check their phones? No. Because that makes them feel even more insecure. Makes them feel what, insecure? About what they look up or they may maybe don't want you to see. Mm -hmm. And their trust really just gets lower when they feel restricted. Do you understand how we want to protect you? Yeah. Oh, right. right. But it's also a learning process for the kids. They don't want to like, they don't want to, they want some sort of freedom and they don't want to have other stuff taken away if the parents see like them posting things that they don't want them to post. Like, Maybe like something that swears in it or something, mm -hmm. which I get why they would be mad, but it's also like, I'm not saying the kids should be able to do anything they want, but like the parents shouldn't be able to just go through their phone. But it's also like an invasion of privacy. Yeah. It makes mm -hmm. them feel kind of like in a bubble mm -hmm. that they can't get out of. Yeah. Do you, what do you, the, you know, your friends do? Do their parents um, have their phones and go through their phones? No. It's almost like a diary, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there is um, a boy or girl watching this and they're having um, a really hard time and they're kind of depressed and, um, you know, they're feeling isolated, is there any suggestions that you have for them and what they should do? Um, 
play video games. What if they don't have video games? Maybe go out. And do go outside and I don't know. Yeah. Do you feel better when you go outside and you're um Yeah, I don't really think about anything other than what I'm doing. Same with playing video games. I don't think of anything. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you want parents to know? Let's go into this. And, um, what What do you want me to know? Is there something that I should be doing or you would like me to do more? Um, or less of? <laughs> Make more smooths. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's all I have to say. That's all you have to say? Mm hmm Yeah. Hmm. So what about bedtime? Because this isn't a vacation, right? Well, it depends what you have on during the coronation. It's, well, it's not. <laughs> that's, it's not a vacation. Yeah. Um, but we but have it's... to be kind of flexible with our schedules, right? And we can't have a lot of expectations. Uh, we're all, you know, in this together, and we're um, we're partners in this, right? You know, yeah. I, so it's it can be it can be hard uh, to be cooped up with each other constantly. Yeah. Um, to give each other space. I feel like if you don't have anything going on the next day just like you wouldn't on, on a weekend a weekend's a little mini vacation where you can do anything you want so if you don't have anything going on you don't have to stay in your same schedule as, a, as if it's a weekday because you don't have everything going on but don't you feel better when you have structure and you you know when you're expected to go to bed and you know when you have a time that you're going to wake up and you're not sleeping all day, right? And well, I like waking up early. The feeling of waking up early is one of the best feelings. Like waking up early by yourself, not getting woken up, is one of my favorite feelings. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know that. Because I like being efficient. Not too efficient. <laughs> efficient, but not too efficient. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? But like having a bedtime <laughs> is one of the worst things. Oh well. You know, I don't think. See you in my day. I give Oh well, that's part of uh, being a parent. Is to ruin your day. <laughs> <laughs> but there is, um, I don't know. I I feel that there's some comfort in that. It is there is for me to have a schedule and, and have an idea of, you know, what's next and um, especially in this because everything is so unstructured right now and and uh, we don't really know what's going on yeah. and you don't watch a lot of news. No. And I don't tell you a lot, but you have an idea of what's going on. Yeah. Right. Do you worry about your brother, um, Dan? At all? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think he's fine. He says he's fine, right? Yeah. If and he if he gets it, he's if even if he did, he's not gonna get it. But if he did get it, so where do, where does, it would go away? Where does Danny it. work? At a hospital. Yeah. So he works in the emergency room at a hospital, mm -hmm. right? And. But the amount of stuff they wear, it's like, I mean, one of the people he works with got the virus, right? Yes. Yeah. But didn't they get rid of it soon? Yes, they were in quarantine, yes. So you don't even, you don't know. Um, it's scary, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't worry about him. Well, I, it's not like I don't well, worry. His personality is mean. just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is kind of mean, but his personality is kind of laid back, and yeah, right, mm. yeah. He looks fun in the lot. So, well, that's what Mr. 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 Is. So, um, yeah. So he's in an emergency working in the emergency room. Um, 
at the hospital. So that that worries me a little. A lot. Yeah, I'm concerned. And then um your older brother is teaching online. Yeah. So you have um you know family members that are very affected by by this quarantine and, and by this virus, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, is there any questions I can answer for you about the virus or um, anything that you want to ask me in general? Kind of. You do? Mm, okay. <laughs> and you make more schools. So do you want, you want school to start? Do you think it's going to start um, this year? Or, uh, at the end of the spring, yeah, you do or no? Yeah. I think we're going to get to summer with no school, right? I think you might be right. Okay, you good to go? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Well, thank you for joining me on my little interview with Matthew um, on the effects of the COVID. Uh, 19 um, and his emotional and mental health uh, seems to be good.